Welcome to We're Reading Virtual Storytime for the week of September 11th, 2023, Part 2. This week's theme is Art. Monet's Cat by Lily Murray, illustrated by Becky Cameron. Monet was a famous painter with a magic cat. Her name was Chica. She was made of delicate pottery and lay on a cushion, cool and still, until... Monet tapped her three times with his paintbrush. Then Chica came alive. She yawned <sighs> and stretched and opened her eyes. Time for an adventure, but it was too wet to go outside. So she set off down the corridor. Chica called Monet. Where are you off to? Are you getting up to mischief again? But Chica wasn't under the table or on the chair. Where could she be? Then Monet spotted her. Inside his painting. Chica, said Monet, come out of there. But Chica wasn't listening. Oh dear, Monet sighed, here we go. Monet stood in the sunshine, breathing in the rich scent of summer flowers. I remember painting this, he said. We'd all had a delicious lunch. And there's John, my son, playing with his blocks of wood. But where is Chica? Chica crept up from under the tablecloth and leapt onto the table. She lapped up milk from a teacup. She nibbled on a piece of crusty bread. Hey, yelled John, a naughty cat is eating our lunch. Don't worry, I'll catch her. But Chica was too fast for him. Wait, Chica, said Monet. But Chica was already leaping out of the picture and Monet came tumbling after. Oh no, not again, Monet sighed. He was too late. Chica was on to the next painting. Monet jumped in after her and landed with a bump. Around him, people ran this way and that. Where am I, Monet wondered for a moment. Then hearing a deafening choo-choo, he knew. The station at St. Lazare the thrill of the engines, the clanking metal, the rushing feet. He was surrounded by steam and smoke billowing up towards the great arched roof. But where is Chica? She was dancing between clouds of steam. Monet ran after her, puffing and panting, weaving in and out of busy crowds. Stop that cat, called the station master, blowing his whistle. Then Monet saw her on a train. Get down, Chica. You don't even have a ticket. Where will she go next? The seaside, said Monet, sitting for a moment to catch his breath. Flags fluttered, parasols twirled, and clouds raced across the sky. And Monet began to smile. There was something about the seaside that always made him feel holiday-ish. Chica's tail twitched with excitement. She prowled. She pounced. Chica, come back, called Monet. Got you. They shared an ice cream on the sand. I don't want our adventure to end quite yet, said Monet. Let's visit one more painting. This, said Monet, is one of my favorite places in the world. I could paint the lily pond forever. The water, the flowers, the green-blue leaves. It's so peaceful. But Chica had spotted something. Monet looked down just as she landed with a tremendous splash right in the middle of the lily pond. Yow! cried Chica. Oh, Chica, Monet chuckled, scooping her up. Let's go home. Monet looked back at his paintings. They were in a terrible mess. As for Chica, she put her tail in the air and padded back to her favorite spot. Monet found her curled up in a sunbeam, her eyes closed. I think you've made enough mischief for one day, said Monet, and he tapped her three times with his paintbrush. At once, Chica became very cool and still. Outside, the sun was beginning to set across the sky. What beautiful light! Monet picked up his paints. Sweet dreams, Chica, he whispered. Until next time.
the end. Okay, we're gonna make a watercolor water lilies. Um, your craft to go kit includes a piece of watercolor paper and also a little cutout of Moni's bridge over the water lily pond. Um, and what you'll need is some glue to glue the bridge on. You'll need watercolor paints or I have watercolor crayons here. These kind of make it a little bit easier to get um, what you want in the place you want. And either way, whether you have watercolor paints or crayons, you'll need a paintbrush and some water. The first thing I'm gonna do is glue this bridge on. So I'm gonna take the glue, just put a little bit on. Push out. I think I put too much on as usual. Um, yep, I already pushed out. I didn't even put it on yet. Okay, I'm just gonna put the bridge up here. Try to center it in the middle and up near the top. And then you're just gonna take your watercolors or your watercolor crayons and make your version of the painting. And I'm gonna draw some water lilies in here before I put any of the water in. So after I put my water lilies in and color my water in, we're gonna go ahead and um, paint the whole thing with water. And remember, you don't have to color the whole thing in um, because they are water um, colored crayons. This is how my painting looks with just the crayons. And now I'm gonna dip my brush in water and just paint over it and look at how, see how it's all blending? Kind of like um, Monet's oil paints. So that's all you're gonna do is use your um, paintbrush to blend all the colors. And when you're done, you'll probably want a paper towel or something to just kind of dab it off so there's not water just sitting on it. But I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so that's basically what it looks like. I'm taking a little paper towel and I'm just gonna put it on there and dab it. Get some of the petals off. I have some petals of water. You guys know me, I go overboard sometimes. That's okay. And this is what my watercolor painting of the bridge over the water lilies looks like.